Hey, so this is Nathan at Journey Team. I'm uh, just here to talk a little bit about uh, Power Automate and how it connects with JSON. So JSON is uh, JavaScript object notation. It's how, especially with APIs, data is uh, returned as an output from the API and also how you put it as input into an API. So in Power Automate, if you use it, it's you may not have to worry about JSON because it's a low to no code tool, but you can also expand Power Automate to be a tool that uses more customization with code. And in, in order to do that, you it's helpful to know JSON. Now, this article kind of explains why you may want to use parse JSON and why you, why you may not want to use parse JSON, parse JSON uh, the action that's inside of Power Automate, uh, in order to work with different uh, HTTP request actions inside of Power Automate. Um, but in essence, JSON is what API is used to communicate. It's how data is communicated between systems, especially between Microsoft CRM, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM and Business Central systems. If you want to integrate those systems, knowing how to use JSON is extremely important. Um, and it also expands to several different other tools as well. So uh, this article just kind of outlines when you can use it, when not, why you may not want to use it um, to save on the API request limitations that Power Automate has. Uh, and if you have questions about this and you want to learn more about how you can use either Power Automate or questions about JSON in your use of Power Automate, you're, feel free to contact us at Journey Team and, and let us know what questions you have. We'd be happy to sit down and take some time to get answers for you.